Thank you.
Okay guys, so that was um, Little Nightmares and I just finished that literally <clears throat> about 20 minutes ago. Um, and I decided that uh, I wanted to let the credits roll just so you guys could see the amazing uh, people who worked on this. But I also figured I'd put my two cents in about just my overall thought of the game. Um, how I liked it, what issues I had with it, um, and where I was... Um, definitely not at my gaming best. <laughs> not at my gaming best. <laughs> Which was <clears throat> pretty much those last, like, three chapters. Um, so, overall, I really enjoyed Little Nightmares. Um, I love indie puzzle games, but this one, I love the whole Tim Burton, because I love him in general, and I love his work, but I love the whole Tim Burton super creepy style but what I really enjoyed about uh, Little Nightmares was the story because it kind of went uh, like a, uh, it did a, like a total 180 um even even to the point where at one one at one point I think like way later I realized that there were collectibles <laughs> which I did not know um but I realized there were collectibles and one of the collectibles is like the things you you break which I, did, I, did, I wasn't doing. And then another thing is the gnomes that you could like pick them up. And I thought she, she or it, I'm gonna go with it at this point now that I've, <laughs> now that I've seen the end. But I thought it was hugging them. <laughs> so you can imagine my surprise. <laughs> I literally, I, would, I wish I had actually been recording it because as you know this entire playthrough was silent um, but in real life as I was playing that section where um, like probably like the, the third or the like the second to last um, section where the little thing got hungry and the little gnome had a little sausage and he offered it up and I was like oh, thank you <laughs> and what I was, I was trying to take it I was trying to take the sausage which is why I was like Keep, kept inching towards the little gnome like how do I take it like is, is there a different button than the eat button and I was like well I guess there isn't and I was I was horrified <laughs> he just started eating him oh my gosh that was horrible um yeah I was so surprised I was like <gasps> what's happened to you because at, at the very beginning uh the little it thing you know was was really hungry and I was like oh that's horrible and then the one guy gave him some food and I was like oh, okay and then um he had to eat like a dead rat and I was like um uh, okay I mean I, I get it you know you're starving but then when the thing um when the little thing went through the kitchen area I was kind of like look at all this food like eat it like eat eat all the sweet or like take something with you like put it in your little raincoat pocket or something for later because you know you're gonna be starving so that way you don't have to eat things and then I was like okay well you know maybe I don't know <laughs> I don't know I kept I feel like I kept making excuses for it <laughs> like you know what it's 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 having a rough time you know like this is a pretty fucked up scenario here little thing is is starving but at the point where after the kitchen or I think during the kitchen or something like that, it like ate a live thing. I was like, uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, but I was still really surprised that it ate a gnome <laughs> because I had learned at that point that you could hug it. So um, yeah, overall, I freaking loved this game. It was really cool, really creepy, um, really beautiful. The only thing I didn't like was the painting out shots, um, particularly when you're like going across the beam or like going, you know, trying to fucking navigate something. Like I'm like, okay, this, yeah, this is beautiful. Thank you. Could I get a close up so I could see my little tiny itsy bitsy feet so that I don't fall off this thing? That was that was kind of the only thing. Um, as well as not knowing what was triggered and what was preventable. <laughs> uh, I think I redid that chase of the big old like guest section like four times because I was trying to catch the bottle. I was trying to catch the bottle. I was like, maybe I can catch it and then I can just sneak through and this won't ever happen. <laughs> oh, I went to deep denial of that section. Um, and that was the only kind of 
section where, I mean, yeah, I, I was about to say that was the only kind of section where you had to do that kind of running. Um, there was another section where you had to go, you know, from light to light. And then you had that last boss section where you actually are like actively trying to, you know, kill it other than that, the long arms thing where you're pulling the, um, pulling the cage off so they did a lot of different like mechanics and different um ways to like go about the the boards where it was never boring like i never knew what was going to come up next like i never really thought it was all going to be the same particularly when we finally got kind of in the nitty gritty of it and i realized that this little thing is not what i thought it was <laughs> i thought it was a poor like orphan thing at first at one point when they were in the um when it was in the, the place with all the clothes and shoes, I was kind of like, is this, is this supposed to like represent some sort of like concentration camp is, or something? And then when we got to like the guest portion, it was like all Asian and then there's just the one woman and I was like, S so is this like, I, w I was really confused. I was like, what is this place? I was like, okay, so I get it. There, are, there were children in the first part, but and then you saw them like in cages and so obviously there and then there were a bunch of like people hanging upside down but the people looked full size so were like i mean and i and like i know they were like eating the children but were they also letting the children grow up and then having them eat like be eating them as like full grown like i understood the whole thing was about cannibalism i get it now i i was not on that same page originally <laughs> it took me a bit because I, 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 I knew that there were like dead things all around, but I really, until the kitchen scene, I didn't actually know that that's what everybody was eating. And then until she ate, the little thing ate like a live thing, I, I didn't realize that that was like, that was like a thing. Like everybody was a cannibal. I was like, oh shit. Um, so yeah, it, it really made me kind of think back to, you know, the first parts of the game and her, the progression of the little thing. And at the very end, which, to be honest, I already knew um, it was going to eat the chick. But I also knew that the chick was, the, the geisha woman was magical. So I was wondering, oh. But I, I wondered if, like, that, that this scenario has been playing over and over again. Like, maybe a little thing that, or a little child, cannibal child, has, like, escaped. And then they go through the whole, like, thing. And then they eat the, the person and they gain the powers. And then that, that becomes the new you know like person who who rules over that place and stuff like that but then she walked out um as you as you saw at the end she just kind of walked out so i wasn't really sure about that um and then you'll kind of see right now it'll go to like the little end thing that shows that apparently it's like a submarine island boat thing i never really i never really got what the hell they were actually in i got that they were in a boat of some sort but um, I never really, I, don't, I still don't really understand like where it is and what it's doing. But yeah, on this on this last part, I was like, what? Because <laughs> she's just, she's just like there she is, or it is. So I was like, huh? And then at the very end, you don't hear it because I cut it off. But at the very end, you hear like a boat signal. I don't know if that's a new boat or that boat or if she's on some sort of an island. I don't know what happened. Overall, excellent, excellent. Um, and I would play it again if uh, I didn't have any sense. <laughs> it was great.